I can't believe I'm filming this right now. Right. Let's just get into it. <laughs> um, fair warning, Gabby is in this video. She's trying to chase squirrels out the front window. So if you see her run back and forth or hear her jumping on window blinds, it's because she sees squirrels. Really? Excuse me. I'm trying to work here. Hey, lay down. Good girl. Don't hit the tripod. That's a good baby. That's my good baby girl. So, I'm going to try and keep this really straight to the point. I have some notes here and Gabby just smeared them with her nose. <laughs> so we're going to try and keep this lighthearted. We're going to try and keep this moving and in a positive direction because I want to preface this by saying this is not me complaining. This is not me throwing a pity party. This is not me trying to gain attention. This is literally just what I have dealt with, what I am doing to deal with this and hopefully shed some positive light on what you could possibly do if you find yourself in the same situation. So I want to first start off by what my original intentions, I really hope Gabby's not in the frame. <laughs> if she is, I'm sorry about the distraction. She stuck to my side. Anyways, okay, so I want to first start off by saying what my original intentions for my channel were going to be when I first started it back in April, 2020. So at that time we had been about a month in into social distancing and quarantine and I was newly working from home. I was teaching from home. You might even hear the kids out there right now. They're at recess <laughs> and I'm trying to get this filmed really quick. So since April, 2020, we have been distance learning, working from home, all the works like so many of us and my original plan was to eventually go back to work and be a channel that provided mom content for the working mom because I just I don't see many channels if any I mean if you know of any send them my way please like that is my bread and butter because I've always been a working mom. I've always worked at least 40 hours a week, if not 55 to 60 and held a full-time job since I was a teenager. Um, I had kids young, so I've been a mom since I was in my early twenties. So that's just kind of my niche is a working mom. And so many of us have been working from home and you see a lot of work from home moms because you know, YouTube is a full-time job, um, to a lot of people. So, they're working from home, they're taking care of things, they're stay-at-home moms, but I just don't see any channels, at least I don't see any that are advertised as working nine hour days and then coming home and checking in or clocking in as a mom and not clocking out until 10, 11 o'clock at night. And it's just, I feel like that realistic picture needs to be painted. So I want it to be that channel. So we've been distance learning for quite a while and it looked like that I was going to be working from home. Can you lay down? It looked like I was gonna be working from home quite often, if not indefinitely, um, just because that's kind of the way that things looked like they were going. So the point of this video is on September 24th, I was laid off from my job and it was a complete and total shock. I had no idea it was coming. I thought that my job was secure because I was the only one in my company that did what I do. Um, I was devastated because, I'm not gonna cry. Because <laughs> I loved my job and I loved the people that I worked with. And it had absolutely nothing to do, hold on, I need to get a tissue before I ruin my makeup. It had absolutely nothing to do with my performance, nothing to do with anything that I had done wrong. And it was literally just COVID and there was not a position for me to stay in the company any longer. And 
I mean, I, I don't know what's going through their heads, but I'd like to think that they were just as upset to have to let me go as I was to having to be let go. So. So I took the day and it was a Thursday morning that I went in. I had known that I was going in for a meeting because I've been working from home. So um, maybe once or twice I would go into the office, take care of a few things that had to be done in office, have someone watch the kids for me real quick. They were out on summer break for a while, so I didn't really need you know, someone to help them do school. I just needed someone to sit with them for an hour or so. So I called my grandma over. She came and sat with the kids for me. And I thought I was just going in for a regular meeting. Um, but it wasn't. And, and they let me go. So I have no ill will towards the company whatsoever. It's been probably my favorite place that I've worked at as an adult, you know, um, and if they were to call me back and say, here's your job back, I would take it in a heartbeat. <laughs> I honestly would. I, I loved working for this company. So it's really sad. <laughs> and I know that a lot of people have dealt with this over the last few months. So many people. And it's, it's almost like a loss. Like you have to grieve a loss because it's like, now what? Now what do I do with my time? Like this, I was doing this all day and I was teaching at the same time where, you know, distance learning with my kids. And it's like, of course, now I have to find another job and I have to still continue to distance learn with my kids but it's like I used to be able to fill my day and I was really good at time blocking and doing multiple things at one time I mean I mean I feel one of my best attributes is being able to multitask and I just I felt empty like now what if I do <laughs> so let's steer this back towards the positive what I did when I came home is I told myself, okay, I, I need to be productive. If I don't, I'm just gonna sit here and cry all day. So I got home, I told my grandma what had happened and I asked her to sit with the kids for a minute while I go wash my makeup off because I had mascara streams down my face, obviously. I mean, naturally. So I went, I washed my face. I put my big girl pants on and I walked out and I made my kids lunch and I made sure that they were taken care of and then I shut myself in my office and I broke out my old resume and I revamped it. Added all the new things in that I had done in this past job. Made sure that all of my docs were in a row. My company provided me a wonderful recommendation letter so I compiled all of that together and I went back on Indeed and just started looking and applying and applying and applying and I, I think I submitted like 10 resumes in the first day just because I was like, I need to get this out here now because it's going to take a few weeks to, you know, get my resume out there, get interviews scheduled and, you know, it's, it's going to take a minute. So I started right away. The next thing that I did is I made a list. And, you know, vamping, revamping my resume and applying to open positions in my area was the top thing on the list because, you know, I had to find an income. The next most important thing down on my list was to rework my budget because I had a finite number of paychecks coming to me in the next few weeks. So I took a look at my budget and I'm a bullet journaler all the way. <laughs> that is how I budget. That is how my brain works. I love the customizable format of a bullet journal and you know maybe one day if you guys are interested I'll share in how I work my bullet journal for my budget, for my daily tasks, for my work tasks when I get into another position but it kind of it just all flows together all the same. So I sat down with my budget and I was budgeted through the end of the year with my current pay so I had to go back, calculate in whatever I was making for the finite number of checks that I had left. 
and then I incorporated my savings too. I cut out all unnecessary expenses and canceled any subscriptions that we weren't using on a daily basis just to whittle down every single penny that I could possibly save. Um, so the way that our bills are broken out, Josh takes care of his stuff, I take care of my stuff, and then the joint things we handle together. And fortunately, I had enough in savings that would carry me through the end of the year and into the next year without having a job. That would require Josh to be able to pay all of the grocery bills though. So he would have to buy groceries until I got another job. One thing that has been preached to me as an adult that has stuck with me as a responsible adult, because let me tell you, my early adult years, we did some irresponsible things with our money and we're still paying for it nowadays. So have at least six months of emergency income in savings. Now that could be a thousand dollars to hold you over for six months for your your necessary bills. Um, that could be ten thousand dollars. It looks different for every person, but I encourage you and I urge you, please look at your finances, look at your bills, and have an emergency fund because you never know when it's coming. And I am so. I'm so grateful that I had that because I would not be as calm as I am today had I not had that. And I feel like I've been able to move forward with a little bit more of a clear mind knowing that I've, all of my bills are taken care of for the next three months at least, if not longer. So I'm going to get us through Christmas. And that's another thing is that I'm able to still put aside the money that I had originally planned on putting aside for Christmas. You know, we whittled the list down a little bit. Um, but I still have that money set aside so I can still give the kids Christmas and we can still do what we were originally planning on doing. So I got all of that taken care of and me and my brain, just the way that it works, I have to plan. If I don't plan, I feel completely out of control. I feel very frantic. I feel like I'm not doing what I should be doing. And I can't even picture my life before without a budget like it is it stresses me out to think that I never used to have a budget I just spent money I paid bills and then I spent money and then I paid bills and then I spent money it's like how do you know what you're spending <laughs> so <sighs> budget another important thing that you really want to think about with your budget is to find out what your absolute bottom dollar is so I was making a comfortable amount to where I was able to stick some money into savings every now and again um, almost every single paycheck and I was living comfortably so I had a little bit extra coming in so when I'm looking for jobs now I know what my threshold is so I need to be at a certain amount to be able to make at least my bills and pay for groceries the next important thing that I want to stress to you guys is to have a support system and have someone that you can talk to because while the first day that I was let go, I was a mess. The next day I was productive. I got the house cleaned up. I did the dishes. I did the laundry. I was on top of it with the kids school. All the assignments were submitted ahead of time and I submitted 10 more resumes that day. And then the day after that, I was done. I didn't want to do anything. I sat and I did nothing. I watched Netflix. And that's okay too. You know, sometimes you just need to take that mental break. And Josh was 100% supportive of that. It's like, you know what? You just got dealt a pretty heavy blow. Take the day and just relax. And, you know, I was supposed to film a video that day and I didn't. I was supposed to edit a video that day and I didn't. I had to make up for it later on and shuffle my my schedule around so that I could get it uploaded on time and get it edited on time and get it filmed on time but you know you've got to make time for you and your mental health because you're just too important not to so after all that I am still on the journey of finding another position with another company I went into my office today actually and did my final meeting with them um, for my position and training the new hire. Or well, she's not a new hire, she's taking over my position basically. Um, so 
Today when I'm filming this, it is Tuesday, October 6th. I was let go on the 24th. I have an interview tomorrow, so fingers crossed guys. I am hoping and praying that this position is right for me. Maybe this is the open door that I've been waiting on to show me that silver lining to all of this. And I originally started my channel to be that working mom channel. And I haven't been a working mom because I've been working, well, I mean, I've been working, but I've been working from home and I haven't really opened up that niche that I really was inspired to do, which was working at a nine to five job and then coming home and clocking in as a mom and taking care of life in that aspect. And, you know, showing people who are doubting and thinking, I can't do all this, but you can. And maybe I have some tips and tricks that you haven't thought of. Maybe you've got some for me that I haven't thought of and we can just help each other out. So I, it's very likely that I'll be going back into the office, which means the kids are going to be going back to school. Um, there's a lot of safety precautions and measures taken at their school right now. I think that they've only had one positive case since school has started back. So that is, that's actually really good. And we live in Orlando, which is a pretty populated city. So having only one positive case of COVID since they started back has been pretty good. So I have every faith in the school system that they will take care of my kids and make sure that they're healthy and getting the education that they need. And then I'm going to be going back to work most likely. If not, then things aren't going to really look very different to you guys. Um, I'm still going to be working from home until whatever position I obtain brings us back but I do expect to go back into an office here pretty soon so that's kind of the direction that my channel is going to be going in we're going to be working from the office and then coming home and clocking in to the mom life and my content is still going to be cleaning and decorating and DIYs and mom life and you know motivational for you guys I hope and if you know of anybody who's in the same situation as me and you think that my channel might help them please, by all means, I would love for you to share my channel with them. I would love to have new faces here. And I'm so excited to see the old ones here too, whenever you guys pop in. So thank you guys so much for supporting me, for supporting my channel, for supporting my family. <laughs> you guys honestly mean the world to me. And I am so excited for this new journey. And I know that it stinks right now. It really does. And it's nothing that I expected. But sometimes you gotta jump through a few hoops to get to the end goal. And the end goal is happiness. And I thought I was there, but you know, apparently God's got other plans for me. So we're just gonna keep on trucking and keep making videos. Let me know if you have any suggestions on any videos that you would like to see from me in the near future. I've got a bunch of motivational ones coming up with some decluttering and organizing of some closets, cabinets, and drawers. So if you're interested, come on back and yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I wanted to add here, but I think I've pretty much hit on every point that I wanted to talk about. Stay safe out there, guys. If you are going through this, it is temporary, you know, it will turn around and God's got better things out there for you. If this has really hit you hard, just there's always... There's always a silver lining to it. There's always something better. There's always a reason. At least that's what I believe. And if I didn't believe that, I think I'd go crazy. So <laughs> I choose to believe that there is something better there for me. But thank you guys so much for watching, for tuning in today, and for joining me on this journey because we're in it together and you're right along, you're coming along for the ride with me. So thank you guys so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye y'all.